All right, welcome to another robot adventure review. Campaign. Got my hog's head Harry Potter mug here from Universal Studios Japan filled with chuha. Hmm. Children, dumbasses, shit for brains, stupid people, Republicans, uh, people who support, you know, bot, politician, corporate shills, and do not watch this. This is not for you. This is people who like, uh, Figures and plastic models and can take a joke. Don't take their shit too seriously. Uh, yeah. And we shouldn't fuck over other people. Don't do that. So, it might sound crazy, but maybe there are more... I know it's crazy, but maybe there are more Star Wars fans than there are Transformer fans. I don't know, it's crazy. Crazy. But I think it's good um, that uh, Bandai has uh, got the license, putting out a lot of more figures. If this turns uh, people on to uh, building uh, more plastic models, um... Introducing a little bit of uh, variety in the plastic model kits. Um, I think that's good. I'm hoping uh, they get... Uh, Bandai gets the license for Star Trek. So we can get uh, the Enterprise E. And, you know, just all the other ships. That'd be nice. I like that. Um, yeah, so... Let's take a look at the box, and then we'll open it up and get all that other stuff done. <laughs> Jordy Luffleworge. Alright, so that's a... Uh, let's look at the side there. And it's pretty much the same as the... I think the, the inner... Um, box there is pretty much the same as the uh, um advanced tie fighter so yeah and the side there let's see. oh shoot he comes in with the little and you can cut look at you can custom paint that up and stuff like that so oh it's got a glass thing okay I didn't know that I mean, there's so much you can do with the uh, with the painting on it. So, I uh, I think the Tie Fighter took me the Advanced Tie Fighter took me maybe about an hour or something, an hour or two hours. So, yeah, it's not a very long build, and it's twenty bucks. All right, let's take a look at the inside. There is zero percent of this video that is made for uh, people who uh, uh, can't uh, take a joke. People who um, um, think George Bush was smart. Uh, people who think uh, Obama uh, was true to his word. Um, Guantanamo. Yeah. Well, you see, Ruben, you can't. You can't just go ahead and do. Yeah, fuck that. That guy who had a super majority he didn't do shit. Um, and look at those. Those are the the crystalline entity peril cells right there. Oh shit, that fell down. And another base. And the instructions. Um. Kempa, keep going.
I don't know if you guys, um, maybe some of you guys are aware of this, but, uh, I think we all know that, uh, Optimus Prime could probably kick, uh, Darth Vader's ass. Um, uh, Q is, um, not as powerful as Primus, and, um, Uh, we should all enjoy our figures and not get all fucking pissed off if somebody talks shit. I'm thinking. Alright, I'm gonna build this thing up. We got, we got one, two, three, four bags. And... Some squid jerky. Yummy, yummy. So, um, we'll see how long this takes. Dude, that is... That right there? Look at that molding. Look at that. That's some badass shit right there. That's all gonna get a wash. You'll get to see all the... That is some detail. Alright, guys. Alright, so I've said this before. And... One of the best things to do when you're building your your model kit is uh, to listen to an audiobook. And uh, I guess one of the best places, because it's free, um, books in the public domain, copyright, uh, already done with is LibriVox.org. Libri um, uh, you can check out a lot of classics, a lot of, uh, I think, you know, I think the copyright expiration moves along with, with the years, but I think it's, um, it changes. So uh, a lot of the classics, you can listen to a lot of, like, uh, Sherlock Holmes, a lot of, uh, Sci-fi stuff, um, um, Philip K. Dick, uh, guy who did iRobot, um, a lot of classics, and you should check them out because, uh, if you haven't, then you're, you're dumb, and, uh, yeah, it's good, to, it's good to, it's good to know, you know, where a lot of these, um, new, I guess, what's up and coming, where they got their inspiration from and where the people that you know got their those people got their inspiration from so it goes back a while and um you can check out uh, like the flatlanders a bunch of uh uh Jules Verne stuff like that so check out uh Liverbox if you uh you're building a model kit so all right, guys, I'm going to get on it, and I'll probably be back in about, let's see, it's 5.30 now. I'll see how long it takes me to build this thing. A lot of the Star Wars fans like uh, looking at the plastic model, I think, and looking at the details. So I'm just going to go ahead and show all the, all the parts and a um, little bit of the manual just real quick, just so that if they want to take a look at the parts then they can stop or slow mo the video transformer St. Arnold's Houston Texas Campa I know it's supposed to be full with filled with beer but fuck it all right, so these are the instructions here, and <clears throat> Star Wars and the Tie Fighter and the Japanese. I guess. So it's um, it's got the action base there. It's got uh, I think a new um, uh, base there, and it's not that complicated. 
so we're doing that and then we're oh, shit. all right we're doing that and all that and then we're and then we're mixing it up there on top there combining the robot adventures just went down and we're doing all that and that's it not that difficult backside is just uh the decal uh, sticker what they call marking and the color guide so <clears throat> it does come with uh, I think these are the water slide ones water slide and decals and your stickers so those you know you can do them either way I don't know which one is best Ruben, you should know because you're something. <laughs> and here's the base. It's got the the pieces to modify. Uh, it's focusing on the the texture of the back wall there, right? And that the actual base. You can uh, finger the base. Uh, but um, you know it doesn't matter how much you finger it it will not squirt so that's the base and you got these parts here still focusing on the back and still focusing on the back okay let's see if I can do this nope so not working. There we go. So lots of detail right there on the the inner shell of the pod. I guess that's what we're gonna call it. I don't know what the name of it is. <coughs> if you look at the instructions here. It comes in uh, three parts. You do the inner shell, and then you wrap it with the outer shell there. So that's part of the inner stuff. So you got that, and it's similar to the other, um, the advanced fighter, the Darth Vader fighter. So it's got those things there. I don't know how interesting that is. That's the bottom of the um, inner sh inner capsule. And those are some side pieces. I'm not, I think those are some kind of I guess I'm not really sure what that is. I guess those are part of the wings and you got the outer shell there. Um, you got the wings, and um, they are different from the way the advanced TIE fighter was because they're not uh, molded together the way that thing was. And I've seen that done in Bandai with um, some of the perfect grades, but uh, it wasn't done here with this one. So you got those, and then you got the. And then you got the. the I guess the support and these things are really detailed if I could get a focus on that I don't know I gotta zoom out okay look at that look how much molding detail there is in that you put a wash on that you're gonna get a bunch of uh... oh it's pretty good I think same with uh, oh that's the back side of it but um, look at that that's a lot of detail right there and I bought this thing thinking you know I just I'm just I, I just have to throw some kind of uh, detail on that so that's pretty cool um, 
I think that's about it. That was, was that four pieces? I think so. Well, the back side, the inside of um, the inner capsule. It's still got uh, the very Darth Vader um, advanced frame. It's prob probably the same. But with the markings, all those triangles, you can throw all those triangles in inside of that and make it look all, I guess, Star Wars-y. And you do have the clear frame, which I don't know where I put it. Alright, so yeah, you also get the, the clear pieces there. And the hatch there. And the lasers. So that's good. Alright, so that's all of the pieces. Um, I'm going to go ahead and throw it all together and then compare it with the... Uh, with the... Uh, advanced frame. Transform! Ch -ch -ch -ch. Chewbacca and the crystalline entity. Entity. These be all... Bro lovers. I don't know if the crystalline entity was, uh, had a gender. I don't know. Maybe they just, I don't know how that worked, but. Yeah! Alright. Okay, we're back here, and I'm feeling better. I made this yesterday. And... I painted, or I put a wash on um, this side here. <clears throat> I don't know if you can really see the details a lot better. Looks a little bit more gray, and the camera's going out of focus. Yay. Oh, 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 it's moving. No, no, no. Alright, so I put, uh, yeah, you can see how this is a lot, the panel lines, you can see a lot of that. And, on this side, it's all clear. There's no wash on that. It's all clean. Just to show the contrast there. And, I did put a... A little bit of a wash on that so you can see some of the, um, I don't know if this will zoom into macro scale, but let's see if we can pull that in closer. Oh, it's not working. So, yeah. A lot of molding detail on that. I did, I mean, you can see it a lot better, um, I guess, in person. It doesn't show up as well on camera. I don't know how that shows up, but, um, yeah, so this side has a little bit of more panel lines, I think, than this other side, but... And that's that side, so... Depending on which way you want to do it. Um, and the base is, uh... Star Wars Base 4. I think that's what we're going with. Oh, this way. There you go. Star Wars Base 4. So that's that one. Um, yeah, pretty much the same thing as the other, um, 
TIE Fighter. I, I don't know the proportions of any of this stuff. Um, the other one is over here. Put that there. See how that. Oh shit, it's all. Okay. Are they good together? Oh shit. Oh crap. Shit, crap, fuck. Oh shit, it fell down. Alright, so here they are together. This one has no. I didn't put any kind of wash on that one. And. the. follower. Um. I guess they're both the. oh no, they're not. They're different. Oh, nice little ball. No, not a fin thing. Is that fin different? I think that. I think that fin comes off. Just attach that fin on there. Um, I don't know. I'll get a bunch of these guys, and then you can have a whole chase scene. Pew pew pew. Um, another thing I did, wanted to show you with uh, applying the wash kind of thing. I haven't even cleaned this up yet, but you can just make it look kind of like that. You just dil put some diluted paint. You can see right there, it's all kind of, I just smap it on there, slap it on there. And then go back with the, with like a Q-tip or something, and just rub it off. And then all that, all the paint will stay in the and the panel lines there and give you that kind of uh, effect so it's all in there oh look it looks all worn and shit you can do the same thing for the back in there yeah you just you just dilute some paint and throw it in there but you're supposed to do a blah 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 percentage to scale the thing okay I don't know so that's that side that looks like that, and the other side looks all clean and new. So that one doesn't have any any um, wash on that. So you know, kind of a difference. Um. All right, guys. Well, that was the that was the Tie Fighter. A video. Uh, it also comes with the clear plastic and the and the clear top. You know, same as the advanced fighter. But um, yeah, twenty bucks. About twenty bucks. You know, pick it up if you think it's good. I think it's all right. Um, it's only twenty bucks. So. I think I might just continue adding to the vehicle collection. I, I'm not really sure about buying the um, the like humanoids. I'll probably get R2D2. I think that's coming out next, and um, R5D3. I forgot what is it, the other one. Um. All right. This has been a Robot Adventures uh, review. Talk to you guys later. Let me know what you think. Bye bye.